Hey, how's it going, folks? Rex here, North Carolina, Virginia Outdoorsman. Give us a like and follow. Hope you're enjoying the content. Getting ready to uh, run over to a couple of friends' house here in a little bit. Going back over with uh, Ryan and Sarah from Wilson's Black and Tans. And as soon as it gets a little later, going to be running some more dogs. Hopefully, I'll have a good showing tonight and uh, give you all some content you'll enjoy. All right, so we're on our way over to Elk Creek, Virginia. Going to go see Ryan and Sarah. Check out what they got going on at Wilson's Black and Tans. And these two, they've done phenomenal with their business, with these dogs, with their training, with the breeding. They've got a bunch of good things going on right now. They got a few champions housed. I mean, they, they've they literally just had two litters of quality pups, too. One of them happened to be from a dog that I am co-owner of with Ryan. So, let's get out there. We're going to pull a couple out of the kennel. We're going to run tonight and see what we can do. And I know there's a lot of people that uh, may think chasing after a dog on the mountainside after dark ain't for them. Well, folks, I'm going to say is don't knock it till you try it. Some of the best nights of my life I've come chasing these dogs across the mountainside. I mean, some of the worst, too. I fractured a kneecap out on the mountainside one night after them. But it's all part of it. You take the risk, you get the reward. And as I touched on in the other video as well, this is kind of like a family thing to me, like a family revival in a way. My great-grandfather raised coon hounds. My great-uncle raised beagles. They both were houndsmen. After them, a couple generations later, I mean, nobody seems to do it anymore. So here I am. I'm basically trying to get back into the family tradition, the legacy, and just <laughs> bring it back to let everybody know how enjoyable it is and see how many I can get out there to go hunting with the dogs as well. So stay tuned. Hope you enjoy. And uh, let's get at it, folks. All right, folks, we're out here with Wilson's Black and Tans, Brian and Sarah. Taking a look at uh, the new add-ons to the kennels I got. Let there be light. <laughs> all right, Ryan, Sarah, how's it going? Y'all doing all right? Doing good, how are you? All right, so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about which dogs we're taking out tonight. Tonight we're going to take the night champion Brooke, get her ready for world zones for a buddy of mine. And we're going to take Monkey on the other end down here, finishing him up for a client. We're going to be taking him back Sunday, so... Hopefully have a good quick night and that way we can get home a little early and get ready for work. Oh yeah. I mean this is definitely gonna be a good time for sure. Lord, thank you for all to do, will do. Let's have a good night, clean hunting in the clean woods and plus these dogs to do what they're supposed to do and supposed to be a quick and easy night and plus we have a lot of memories to look back on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come out looking for cans, we get a big old bow. Yep. <laughs> So sweet. <laughs> so to say, couples that hunt together stay together. <laughs> what you expecting out of old uh, Brooke here tonight? Well, she hit a, I think it was a cold crack over here in this uh, cornfield. Now she's about 200, and she's about 230 yards down off in this little branch where there's a bunch of laurels and she's open a few times down there so we'll just see what happens she might put the meat up in the tree here in a little bit i mean she made grand night champion for a reason we'll see good girl 
Good girl. Good girl, Brooke. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. yeah, these dogs work themselves pretty good already. Still pretty warm and dry. I think you might be right there, Ryan. It probably is a little too dry for them to get a good scent. Let's hope they get on something over here. We're being watched. But when you're being followed by cattle, sometimes it's just a tad bit creepy. <laughs> I hope they hit a track this time. But now you say it's probably too dry and not enough movement. Yeah. Good girl. You've done the best you can. Yep. Yeah. Some of these not. Can't turn them all over, not. Yep. Yeah. I said it's never guarantee. But when I look like this, there's no such thing as an unsuccessful hunt. Oh, yeah. There's always lessons to be learned. Even if they don't tree, they're always learning something. Yep, I agree. There's just nothing moving tonight. Dry or not. So we're going to call it quick and try to get in tomorrow night. Ten to the four. My old brook here, she's hunting herself pretty hard. We got slack in that lead. Oh, yeah. All right, well, the night didn't go as planned. We pretty much got skunked on it. Ryan, is there anything y'all want to add? Just dry. Yeah. Very dry. Very, very dry. Yeah, it's amazing just how something like that can mess with how a dog sense of smell or animal yeah. movement. It's very, very easy. All right, need, so. Need some rain. Need it. A little wet mm -hmm. for sure but we're going to hit it tomorrow night hope for the best we're going to try a new spot hit some national forest go to a couple cornfields out here in the food plot and let them strike in a little laurel branch and hope for the best yeah, lord will and we'll have a successful night tomorrow yep. well folks i just seen it not every night's successful that's how hunting goes you can spend all the time in the world preparing getting all the conditions right but all it takes one little bit of weather one difference in the animals movements and you're pretty much done when i started this channel i was on to bring like the full enjoyment of the outdoors not just like the successful days i mean i'll bring the bad days too it's all part of it nights like this makes you truly appreciate the ones that are successful and the pretty much all the success that you do have out here so all that's left to do is get back at it tomorrow night, try our luck, and see how it goes. Thank you all for watching.